Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe and come hang out with us in Discord. Well, Volcarona fans, we did it. We have hit the finals. We uh, managed to finish first seed in the regular season with a 5-1 and one plus 16 record. So because of that, we were able to get a buy round for the first week and we now find ourselves against the Baltimore Ori Corios who beat the real Lake of Rage last week 4-0 at uh, Gavka, Gavega. So that was the fourth versus fifth seed, and as such, awesome players earned the right to battle myself, the first seed, in the semi-final. So there's only four teams left now. On the other side, King defeated Cam, the Denver Golden Goes, and so the... Uh, Ente Empire will face Alex, the York White Roses, in the other semi final. So the two winners will then face off in the final next week. But um, let's not look forward to that too much. We do have a very tough task here to make it to the finals at all. Um, my good good friend Awesome Pie here, my happy hour co coach, uh, co host, sorry, not co coach. Well, we won't go into co coaching. But um, anyway. Um, as you can see on the screen here, a very strong team from Pi here. There's The floor is quite high. Like, they're all very good mons. There's nothing that I'm sitting here thinking that definitely won't come. And there are a few things I think he definitely should bring, uh, given our roster, but we can go into that a bit later. If you look at the matchups here... Um, Throughout the season, it's been no secret that the Terra, Arcanine, Pompeii has been a absolute force for the Oricarios this season, as has Hacks R Us. Um, last week, Golden Go also was clutch getting the paralysis on a sweeping Gyarados. Um, so these are all things we need to look out for. I do have... <sighs> A pretty strong suspicion on a few sets he will bring, but if you look at the if you look at the speed tiers, if we draw our attention to that, the Sceptile one twenty, and then nothing else above ninety seven. So, Kilowattral being faster than Sceptile is obviously very nice, but Sceptile does have the unburden as well. So, I know he likes to run Focus Sash or. Uh, red card and stuff like that, maybe even white. I think white herb could be the play here. That way, if I do happen to bring sticky worms, which, spoiler, I'm not, um, then obviously you would stay neutral speed, proc the white herb, and then become unburdened double speed. Uh, you could then also run leaf storm, which hits, you know, Diancy, Politoed, and Basque Legion. So that's probably what I would do if I were Pi, and I think Sceptile is one of the mons that probably will come. I also think Galarian Weezing has a very good matchup here. Uh, it probably has to run Levitate, just because I have Iron Treads, um, as well as Diancy Earth Powers and Salamence Earthquakes. So with that in mind, we are bringing the Overquill with Toxic Spikes, because I think that actually does hit a few things. Uh, on the other team, he the only way to get rid of it then is with Defog, Glyscor, or Rapid Spin, Hamtaro, more Pekko. But um, the other things I think will come are, I think Glyscor is going to come. Uh, it'll either be a super bulky one with, like, I know it doesn't get toxic, but it might have, like, three hazards and U-turn or Earthquake. Um, that's probably what I expect there. I think Arachnid, Araquanid will come. In the rain, liquidation, if it even has to resist that I don't really have a switch into it. Um, the overquill we're bringing is super bulky with Intimidate, so that's probably our best option, but I think I can only switch into it once, unless I do some pain split shenanigans and stuff like that. Um, I think Meloetta has to come, because otherwise um, Last Respects goes kind of crazy against this team. Or it could run Terra Normal Arcanine, I guess, but... Interestingly, I think given given our our kind of rain core here, and we do have like two intimidate users, I actually don't think Arcanine's gonna come. Don't get me wrong, head smashes still really hurt, 
but I think the combination of me possibly expecting Arcanine to come and it having a very meh matchup makes me think it might not come and Pi may need to be pretty creative here. Um, I know he's traveling and whatnot at the moment, so I don't know what his prep time has looked like. Um, but, you know, I'm sure he's done his <laughs> done a lot of studying on this and has come up with a very strong team. The other thing I think will definitely come is the Gold Go. I learnt during the week, I, for not to spoil my... Well, I mean, we're about to look at my team, but all week I was thinking Graffer is really good here um, because it can run Taunt and Encore and hit things like, you know, your Weezing, your bulky Hazard Stacking, Glide Score and Golden Go and such. But I learnt that Golden Go not only can't be status or leech seeded or anything like that, it also can't be taunted or encored. That Mon is crazy and it's super bulky and super strong. I suspect it's going to run Trip, Scarf or Specs and, and or uh, Screens. So sadly there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Um, the screens will go up, but I do have a few ways to get rid of them. But, um, yeah, I think Trick Room is also possible, given the speed tiers I mentioned earlier. Um, but, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into what we're bringing today. Okay, so this is our squad. Um, let's just dive right into it. So I have Lauren, the Salamence Terra Flying with Leftovers. It's Leftovers, but it's not super bulky. It's very offensive. Uh, it's adamant. I think there was something... Um, there was something I speed crapped. I mean, I know a Jolly Haxorus would outspeed us, but I think I did the how that it has to run like Outrage or something. I don't know. There's some reason, or I just won't bring this in against Haxorus. I have other answers to it. So we have Substitutes because, again, I'm terrified of Trick and that kind of stops that. Uh, there's also the Trick Room threat and Substitute can kind of stall it out. Substitute and Leftovers as well. Uh, we have Dragon Dance. I'm probably only going to look to get one of these off to outspeed the Sceptile. If it gets unburdened, I would need like three or something and that's just doesn't seem plausible. But um, Dual Wing Beat, Terra Flying, and Earthquakes, I believe, hits just about everything on his team. If I'm plus one Terra Flying, the Weezing can't switch in. It's a, I think it does about 60%, or maybe 50 to 60, so good chance we get a 2 hit KO if that happens uh, with Moxie there. The next one is the Basque Legion, Remy, with Last Respects, Flip Turn, Psychic Fangs, and Wave Crash. I only really need Last Respects and the Water Moves, but Psychic Fangs is kind of just a filler there to um, break the screens if need be, and then we can kind of get out. Um, I was able to go Adamant because if he brings Webs, and I have Rain up, even with the minus one speed doubled, I'm actually able to outspeed an Adamant Sceptile, but if he runs Jolly, it's just a bit hard to get to before the Unburden. So that's kind of my speed creeping mentality here. I almost ran Band, but I decided to go with the Life Orb in case I'm left with a Meloetta and I want to run, I want to click Last Respects. Um, Politoed here um, with the Damp Rock to set up the rain, obviously, with Bastion Legion and Killer Watch Rule, rain's obviously going to play a crucial part here. I think Pi knows that. But uh, we have Earth Power, Chilling Water, just in case, you know, there's something I need to lower the attack of, whether it's Haxorus or um, Arcanine, if it's a Terror that gets rid of its water typing. I think he could run Terror Grass. Um, and I also have Brick Break and Ice Beam. Brick Break again to get rid of screens and Ice Beam just to hit the glass score and stuff like that. Uh, we have Wally here with a Life Orb. Um, weather Ball in the rain to hit the glass score. And 
Hurricane, Thunderbolt hits just about everything else, neutral or super effective, and you turn to pivot. Just because in case he switches in on the glass score and it's sun, like if it's not in rain, I can't unless I want to roll the hurricane dice, which I don't enjoy doing. I would just U-turn on the glass score. Uh, with Volt Absorb, so in case he's got a banded Morpeko, he can't really do anything with that. Um, this is our kind of this is our secret weapon a little bit. I think Chameleonaire, the Iron Treads with the Choice Scarf, is going to play a pretty crucial role in this game. Earthquake, Volt Switch, Ice Spinner, and Knock Off. My plan is to lead this expecting Goldengo, and I think he would then switch, and I could press Knock Off on anything. So, perfect outcome is to see Goldengo there and him to lead Goldengo. I click knock off, and if I hit the golden go, great. If I don't, I hit something else. Fantastic. Um, Ice spin is obviously there for glide score, which we outspeed. Um, unless he runs agility, sword stance, stuff like that, which he is known to do as well. You know, Pi. No sets are out of the question with Pi. He's a very good battler and a very good builder, very creative. Um, but yeah, I think Chamillionaire could be a key player in this match for and from our end. And also Killer Watch will have a big game too. Um, Mrs. Puff, obviously our only real form of defense in this. Well, Politoed's also very bulky as well. Yeah, it's almost max defense. Um, very it's actually um, a minus speed nature with zero IVs, just in case he runs Trick Room, I at least have something. It's kind of slow. Um, the only thing slower, I believe, is the Araquanid. Let me just have a quick look here. Uh, Polytoad 70. Oh, and also the Weezing. But he would have to be minus speed nature as well to be slower. Um, but anyway, uh, Toxic Spikes, like I mentioned in the matchup guide preview thing, I think that's a pretty good pick here. Spikes isn't as good, and I didn't think Rocks was that great either, except for a Arachnid. But um, we have Crunch for the Golden Go, and Barb Barrage actually hits everything else, and Pain Split obviously for longevity and to annoy him. I'm pretty happy with this team. I think I did spend a fair bit of time on this yesterday. It's actually... Um, this is the day of the match I'm recording this, and I built this yesterday. I think it's definitely got the potential to, you know, this is, this is a team that's going to take us to the final, hopefully, but nothing comes easy against Awesome Pi. He is a phenomenal battler, and um, yeah, without further ado, I'll stop here, and when we come back, we'll be straight into the match, so looking forward to it. Welcome back, um, Volcarona fans. I'm sure you have just come back from the team preview and matchup preview um, regarding this match with Pi, the semi-final. But um, we're, we're officially here. Pi is playing from his hotel. He's actually internationally traveling. I'm sure when you watch his side, you'll see it. But um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. All right, so he told me the terror types for Arcanine and Haxorus, and neither of them are here. So mind games are real. Araquanid. <laughs> he just gave me a winking face. <laughs> Sceptile. Amtaro. I mean, I did the same thing. I told him a terror type for Frostmoth. So, you know, it, the mind games are here. Good fun with my very good friend, Awesome by Stell. I kind of thought... I'm really surprised the Weezing's not here. Um, but... With that being said, um, I think we're going to do what our original plan was. I see a golden go, so I'm going to lead with our scarf treads. I think it has to be screens or trick. Um, I also think that Meloetta could also be trick, but I think it could be trick room as well. Like this is a bit of a tricky matchup here. I don't. I think he might need to go a bit wacky. I think my team's strong. He's is obviously strong too, but I think the onus is kind of on him to be creative here. 
But um, nonetheless, good luck, Pi. Um, and this is for a grand final spot in the Bolt League. Oh, I'll pick a pick, Pi. Pick, pick. <laughs> okay, there are three seconds left. <laughs> Alright, good luck, Pi. This is... I'm excited for this one. <laughs> We, we will need to play well to win here for sure. Uh, we'd love to see a gold and go lead. Barbara. Bear bra. It's bear bra. Okay. Uh, we are Scarf. He might see no uh, booster energy. Well, we're always going to be faster, so he's going to switch, right? I might still go for an Ice Spinner, honestly. Just to get the damage off. Let's just go for an Ice Spinner and see what happens here. Oh, nice, he stayed in. Ooh, that's a huge kill. Land Treads gets a kill. And Glass Score is down. That's huge. I don't know why he stayed in there, that's really surprising. Alright, Troop Spider. We don't have a ton of switch-ins to this. Ah, uh, I mean, we can just go into this thing, right? Hmm. Let me think here. What's worst case? Probably like Bandit or something. Let's go into this. This is our kind of defensive wall here, so... Let's see what it does. We'll learn a lot from this attack here. Liquidation. That's... That's very unfortunate. I dare say that crit mattered. Well, it definitely mattered, even if it's banned, if that does 40% 40, 40 max. Oh, sorry, 45% max. Um, so, not ideal, for sure. Um, that sucks, actually. Um, we can go into Vascular Legion. Click flip turn. You're going to kill a lot troll. Uh, let's go kill a lot troll. Let's stay on the offensive here. Um Got to assume this thing's max HP, right? I think he's gonna switch, so I can U-turn here. Let's U-turn. Yeah, okay, so we got some momentum. Hamtaro, this could actually do a bit here. Nice, about half. Sorry about the sound here, it's a bit laggy. Oh, that crit sucks. Um, but that's fine. Um Could go back into this. He doesn't have now he doesn't have anything that wants to take an earthquake. I mean I guess it's a rack on it. I right, could go into this and just press knock off. Let's press knock off. Okay. Jeez, this this sounds brutal, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to press knock off. I don't think this thing can do a lot to me. Goes to protect. Interesting. Okay. 
Who wants to take this? Sceptile? It would proc the... Um, Unburden. I still think we go for it. Now his aura wheel is electric. Oh, you got the double protect. <laughs> um, I mean, aura wheel so obvious, right? I'm just, I'm gonna press knock off. It's really unfortunate you got that double protect there. Life Lord. Okay, did, did a pretty good chunk actually. I think I can still just keep kind of pressing knock off. Sceptile's probably his win con at this point. That double protects cost me 70 damage there. Oh, and that crit was really unfortunate too. Where the Antara goes down. Treads picks up the second kill. I don't know who he goes into here. It's got to be Sceptile, right? Troop Spider. I mean, yeah, I guess that's valid too. Ah, uh, this is a pretty free liquidation. I want to keep this, for sure. I want to keep that for sure. I don't really want to sacrifice anything. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into Polytoe. I know the buffs liquidation. I don't really have much choice. No, actually, let's let's go into Salamence. This will probably do about fifty to sixty. Ooh, sticky web. Okay. I feel like based on that crit earlier that this thing must be um must be banded, so that's interesting. Let's Let's go for a dragon dance. I think it's banded. Yeah, okay. I I'm gonna assume this thing's banded because liquidation would have done a lot. Still. I'm gonna sub, because I, I fear this thing's gonna be trick. Um, this or the gold Ango, so I'm gonna sub. Hopefully that works out. Hyper voice, specs hyper voice with her, sure. Yes, I knew it. I knew he would bring Trick. <laughs> I hope this is Scarf or something. Alright, uh, if it's Scarf or Specs, I can just, um... Well, maybe I won't mess around here. I might just go for the Terror. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go for the Terra Flying Dual Wing Boot here. I think if it doesn't kill, it'll do a lot. <laughs> That's bulky. Okay. That's very bulky, Miloetta. Mmm, trick room. Okay. Okay. I mean, hmm. I thought trick room or trick. It was called webs up. Webs trick room. Well, hi. Um, I mean, I can probably just go for the Earthquake, right? Let's go for Earthquake. Wait, I'm faster? What? How do I go first? What? I was plus one speed and it's a trick room up and I went first. I'm so confused. Oh, is it lagging tail? Okay, seven. This is the other thing I thought might be trick. Um, I mean, what can he do? All he can really do is break my cell. I'm just gonna go for Earth, but it wasn't on a balloon. Screens, okay. I am plus two though, and it's super effective. Oh jeez, that's bulky. Hmm. I mean, jeez, but that, I'm plus, yeah, that's, that's bulky. <laughs> Uh, can I see webs? Oh, sorry, not webs. What's the trick room status? Two more turns. Okay, I'm just gonna take the earth. Wait, I'll take... Yeah, this, this will break it for sure. Okay. Salamence so picks up the second kill, and go for my spawn. <laughs> Oh, okay. So the fact I'm flying means I no longer resist the Iraq one head. Yeah, it's probably gonna kill me. Oh, I should have sub I should have subbed. That was silly. Yeah. This thing kills me now. I think I, I think I need to preserve Salamence here. I'm gonna go into Polito because I think Killer Watcher might just win from here. By pressing Hurricane twice. Yeah, let's let's go into Politoed. I'm gonna preserve this for the set tile, or when I'm faster than this Iraq one hit. This is gonna be strong, this will do a lot. <laughs> That's a very uh, bulky polito. <laughs> uh, chilling water, probably, yeah. Let's go for the brick break. Okay. Um, and now we can go into Killer Watch, I think. Impressive. 
that's Arcane. Yes! Good work, Wally. And Hurricane should. Well, unless Sceptile's got like stuff. Let's get Stone Edge? No, Rock Slide, baby. There's still a world I lose this. But I think he would need to get a flinch. I think he needs to get a flinch. Oh, I'm faster. Never mind. Oh, of course I'm faster. High base speed. All right, so uh, good game, Kai. That was <laughs> I was worried. Trick room and trip is it's terrifying, but um, we we advanced to the final. Um, a four. Who else died? Oh, Polytoad died. Sorry, I was keeping track of the kills there. Um, but well done, Pi. Good game. Um, for those of you who have stuck around this far, I do have a question of the day. Given this is happy hour time with my good friend Pi here, tell me your favorite happy hour battle or video, and then tell me why it was Wormadam. Wormadam at beating the Terrapico Stella um, by our opponent today, Awesome Pi. So, um, again, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next week in the grand final against the victor of King versus Alex. So, yeah, ciao.